just as soon try play the part of keeping you what is up what's going on guys trizzle here tuning in uh, bringing you another great war recap uh, it's been quite a while since I've been able to get one of these done um, but I would like to uh, try to get a little bit more of a reg regular schedule um, and getting these uh, the, the recaps up because a lot of credit uh, needs to be paid where credit is due because uh, we really do have some great clan members um, the theme of this war um, I would really like to dedicate this war win to my haters um, those of you out there you know who I'm talking about um, I can tell you that life is going to be filled with a bunch of haters, um, and I, I, I hope you you're, you got your popcorn, because I've got a lot more where that came from. Um, not to, to go off on any type of rant or, or tangent, um, but I can tell you that, you know, I've worked extremely hard to build the clan that I built. Um, we have a, a lot of great members that work very hard towards that goal as well. Um, but if I didn't do the things that I've done, uh, you know, whether it be money that I've spent, um, the amount of work that I put into the clan, uh, we would not be where we are. Um, and even with the YouTube channel, um, and I appreciate all of you guys watching, subscribing, um, but if I didn't put as much work into it as I did, you guys wouldn't watch. Uh, you wouldn't be entertained, um, and uh, we wouldn't be where we're at. So um, all I can say is this one goes out to all my haters, um, especially you. Um, and you know who I'm talking about. Uh, this war win is dedicated to you. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the, the whole point to that, that story is that um, I wasn't able to use my second account this war uh, because somebody reported me. Um, and I don't want to get into the specifics because it really isn't the point. Um, and, and honestly, I'm, I'm so beyond that that um, I, I, all I have to do, it, it just makes me chuckle. Um, so with that being said, um, just going to go ahead and try to showcase a few of the attacks. Um, try to get into as many of the three stars as I can. Uh, this one, uh, I don't even know why I'm really showing this off because it's a two star. Um, and not that two starring a town hall 11 is good but it was um i thought it was a harder base to be honest with you so let's just go ahead and play it out i'll zoom through it um just because i usually expect three stars or better uh, or better i usually expect three stars um no less um to you know feel that it's a successful attack so uh this attack ended up petering out wasn't quite able to get that inferno and it ended up uh, killing the rest of the, um, the witches that I had. So, uh, this attack's a bully attack. Um, I guess we can show that real quick. I know it's a, a war recap, so it's not about necessarily just showing all the three stars, but this was a, a Town Hall 11 dip on a Town Hall 10 and um, just went ahead and used standard bowler witch, uh, 10 witches, 17 or 18 bowlers, just depends, and um, just a little prep to set up the raid, uh, get the corners broken into, that way you can get your funnel created, and that way your kill squad and army won't circle the base, because it is of course a ring base. Alright, so pretty pretty easy, uh, the troops end up uh, making pretty pretty good work of the, um, of the base. And being that it is a Town Hall 11 dip, it really wasn't um, very difficult. So, easy 3 star. And again, um, this one goes out to, to my haters because um, you would think that you know, if we didn't have our second account, our number 2 base, um, not being able to attack because in the middle of war um, we got banned. Um, then you would think that we would lose the war. Uh, not saying that the other clan was um, the best attackers in the world, but um, it wouldn't have mattered anyways because we would have still done an awesome job 
um, because even though I am, you know, at the the helm, um, I'm at the uh, the driver's seat, you know, and I'm steering the bus, we still wouldn't be a great clan without the individual components, um, our individual members, our uh, man. Well, I guess I almost said management staff, but our leadership staff, you know, from the uh, the elders to the co-leaders uh, to the people that you know just help out. Um, and support in different ways. Now, I do know that some of our Town Hall 8s um, definitely need some work, and that is something that um, I'm gonna try and spend some time, not just with um, you know the elders and working out a plan, um, but also trying to figure out um, you know who is, one, worth keeping, um, and two, uh, from there, just identifying you know people's um, learning styles. Uh, their strengths because we all learn in different capacities and different ways and while the whole point of the videos and the channel is to try and help you guys as much as possible um, we definitely want to make sure that we're um, we're utilizing you know the tools and resources that we have available to us um, as a plan we should really be you know able to lean on each other uh, make sure we're using everyone's strength, experience, knowledge, um, and really use that to our, our, our benefit. And that's one of the things that make us extremely strong as a clan because the five years that I've been playing this game, you know, I can parlay that experience into really um, it, it was nothing but clash knowledge. Uh, whether it's how to hit a particular base, how to break a base down, um, everything put together, you know, goes into basically making us a stronger clan so really really um, feel that those of you that are you know war clans and you are war conscientious and you of course everybody likes to win uh, not everybody wants to put in the hard work or you know adhere to the, the discipline that you kind of have to dis uh, to follow in order to create you know that winning you know standard of excellence but of course everybody wants to win so Unless you're all like gifted prodigy like raiders um, that just almost can like uh, how do I say it? almost look like you're a modder so to speak, then that's one thing. But um, if you're like most people, you really have to put in the time and, and learn the game, learn the troops. And uh, one thing that I have found, just putting in the time in general, is that it does pay off. Every raid that you put in it actually gives you a little bit more of uh, muscle memory, a little bit more repetition um, and being able to you know, know the different nuances um, between troops and armies and quirks and you know, what tile you need to drop it. Because you know, the tile space does matter, guys. Um, sometimes that's what it comes down to is literally a single tile space on as far as where the, the troop or spell was dropped on the actual map. So little things like that does matter. Uh, those of you that don't play the game at this level, you know, won't, won't really understand it. You know, you probably call us a, a bunch of tryhards and, oh, this is just a game. You take this too seriously and any, things along those lines. And I can tell you that, um, yes, it is a game. Um, and yes, um, it, it, it isn't life or death. Um, but at the same time, um, whether it's Call of Duty, Yahoo Pool, um, freaking League of Legends, you take your pick. Um, there is a competitive nature, um, not, not just in, you know, gaming as a whole, but, you know, it, it's, in our, it's in our blood, it's in our nature, you know, so it doesn't matter the sport, the forum. Um, the medium, it, it really ends up being a situation where if you have people that care about a particular uh, activity, then eventually you're going to have a organized uh, way of being able to determine who is best at that particular activity. So regardless of what it is, you know, humans in all of history has always done that. I don't want to sound too... Um, uh, I don't know, it's too weird about it, but you know, it's definitely something that um, you know I have to, to chuckle about. But um, in any event, you know, it's still 
still uh, something that um, I wanted to, to let you guys know because being a clan as long as we have, you know, the reason that, you know, we're able to have continued success even though there's a pretty, I don't want to say there's a high turnover when it comes to the Town Hall 8s, but, um, you know, there's definitely a, a big coming and going. Um, you know, we have a, a few core Town Hall 8s, but for the most part, you know, there's, there's a lot of people that just come and go. And I know some of that has to do with, um, you know, the fact that we have the channel and everything. But at the end of the day, I don't know if that has everything to do with it. Um, you know, we have had some people upgrade, which is also, you know, got to take that into consideration because, you know, Bush, Lynch, um, who else, you know, upgraded, you know, Geo. Um, there's a bunch of people that, you know, graduated, so to speak, so can't blame that at all. That's the natural progression. And um, it's actually worked to our benefit because the people that we ended up uh, have being on our clan from, you know, way back when and went through the process of going from Town Hall 7 to Town Hall 8 and then eventually Town Hall 9 on our clan, those are like some our, our best attackers. Um, and it has to do with the fact that, you know, we were able to develop each uh, the our individual members um, and really iron out the kinks, um, get everybody's, you know, attack and hit rate as high as it possibly can um, to the point where we're at now, you know, where we have, um, you know, let's say, for example, White Light, um, you know, shout out to White, dab on the homies real quick. Um, he's, uh, he, he definitely, at the, at the onset, you know, it was very touch and go. I mean, there were plenty of times where I had to be like, White, what are you doing, bro? And fast forward to where it's at now, I mean, he is probably one of the, the strongest Town Hall 9 attackers that I've seen in the game, um, not just even on our clan. And it came from years, I don't want to say months, you know, years of practice. And I don't want to, you know, discourage anybody or you know, make anybody feel daunt daunted by, you know, wow, I have to put years into this game. Because you don't really need to, you know, you just need to, one, um, to teach yourself how to learn. Um, and what I mean by that is that, you know, when you're watching YouTube videos, when you're, um, you know, doing what you do to research the game and to get better at it, um, friendly challenges, you know, raids in, in the actual trophy pushing, um, all of those things add up to um, the net effect that you're gonna have in terms of your mastery of an army or a particular troop. So if you're not attacking, there's no way that you're going to be able to a improve um, and iron out those kinks and be comfortable, you know, with hitting max bases. So that's so important. And I've talked about this in other videos. You know, the fact that you know I usually push farm, which allows me to one uh, farm like a mother trucker, and two practice my three starring at the same time which is very important because if you think about it, you know, all the raids that you, you can do, um, especially if you're, you know, an adult like I am, uh, you have a life, you know, you have a, a full-time job, um, you know, working, you know, 50 plus hours, um, where it's a little bit difficult to, to be on, on the game, logged on, on Clash, um, unless it's like that designated time, you know, after work or one or two day, uh, one, designated day maybe on the weekends where I try to farm um, there's just not enough hours in the day so by push farming it's always given me the one up because I've been able to kill two birds with one stone making sure that I'm able to farm the loot that I need to farm um, but at the same time um, and more importantly practicing my three starring you know, making sure that I get comfortable with it um, and that comfort level makes a, a huge huge deal um, especially if, let's say, you're not an air guy. You know, if you're not an air guy, you're always going to shy away from, you know, a particular air raid or hybrid raid that it includes air. And not because you don't want a three star, not because you may not, you, you're not acknowledging that, hey, that's a strong army or that's a stronger army. Um, but, you know, we are creatures of habit and we go with what's familiar, what's comfortable to us. Um, so if you don't, take the time to start making 
the the act of doing uh, an air raid comfortable. You know, it's never ever gonna get there. So definitely recommend just going out and attacking guys. Um, the best thing that you can do is to you know attack max bases. Um, so that way you condition yourself to not just the DPS, um, but also the general um, the general difficulty um, that you'll you'll need or you'll face um, on a consistent basis. Um, and just just by doing that alone, guys, you'd be surprised just how much it improves your game. Um, you know, especially when you think about the psychological side of it which most people wouldn't even dream to think oh well you know there's a psychological side to the game of course it is and with anything there is um, doesn't matter if it's freaking tic-tac-toe um, there's a certain aspect of it that's very much psychological because you are able to utilize you know different uh, techniques learning techniques you know to kind of you know, give yourself an advantage um, not to again go off on on a tangent here but um, the long and short of it is that you just got to use your brain um, use your common sense because uh, most things are very straightforward and the people that are good in this game um, they don't know a bunch of stuff that you do but they found out what works and they try to duplicate it if they make a mistake they find out what they did to cause that mistake or what mistake they made and then they don't try to duplicate it they try to make sure that that never happens again and when I say try to I mean going back really hitting the drawing board watching your replays looking to see what actually took place what went wrong where you dropped a troop or a spell and if you're not doing those things it's gonna be impossible for you to ever find out find out why a particular raid failed and if you're not even checking you've subconsciously I don't want to say given up but you've definitely proven that you're over time conditioning yourself to to not care if you don't three star or if you have a, a weak raid um, let's say you were doing a bully raid and it was supposed to be an easy three star but you end up barely getting you know the the triple you know you need to kind of watch that attack you need to see what you did wrong um, you know what took place you know was it your deployment um, was it your timing um, did you freaking have to take a shit in the middle of the raid you know like you, you have to account for these things so in any event um, still not to try to make it more than it is um, because all of the problems, issues that you would ever run into can be remedied by just practicing your raid objectives, guys. You know, and I've talked about this over and over and over. And I'm going to continue to, you know, revisit it over and over and over until we get to the point where we understand that, you know, the raid objectives is basically your game plan. You know, if you're a... a a sports team, an NFL, you know, football team, you know, without, uh, you know, a playbook, you know, you're basically going to be out on the field, everybody's going to be ad-libbing, and whenever you're in a team capacity, um, it's not going to work. Um, there are some individual applications where, you know, yes, you know, you can be your own man and make your decisions without any consequences attached to it. But, you know, with Clan Wars, and that's one of the beauties and the biggest things that people enjoy out of the game, is the fact that it's not just on you, it's not just the one person. In fact, the entire clan has to work together. Everybody has to pitch in and pull their, their own weight. Otherwise, you're going to lose. And that that's the, the one thing that, you know, you have to remember. So, don't want to take too long on this recap, but... I did at least want to you know, mention a couple things. Um, again, this one's for all the haters, guys. I love it. I love the, the, the haters out there because all I can do is shake my head and, and wonder if, like, like, I'm that big of a celebrity to you um, that I consume your every 
waking moment thought and um, the, the jealousy is so so PB and J I mean so peanut butter and jealous it's just uh, yeah so that being said I'm gonna zip through some of the remaining attacks I don't know if I'll be able to show them all but I will definitely try to show as many as I can um, we've already had a pretty size sizable video um, but um, I do want to at least show some of these guys some love so here we have Bush pretty much um, taking I want to say pretty much but here we have Bush taking care of business um, easily manhandling those you know higher town hall aides uh, which is absolutely crucial to the war effort um, if we didn't have um, an interim um, you know person that you know is focused on that then it would be a, a lot uh, I don't want to say less successful but um, a lot less controllable let's put it that way so uh, here we have La or LA however you want to say it um, he was actually supposed to attack um, a couple of different bases but I don't know maybe he um, misread the misread it somehow I'm not sure all right but in any event um, pretty pretty easy town hall eights um, as we're going down the line um, as you can see this one you know the air defense is extremely rushed so not a big deal to um, just go ahead and just I don't want to say overwhelm the base, but just do what you're supposed to do because it's uh, definitely uh, Town Hall 8 Dragons are, I don't want to sound like I'm being super arrogant, but they're so easy guys and if you're having a problem with Town Hall 8 Dragons, uh, definitely subscribe to our channel and make sure that you check everything out. Um, any event, uh, three more stars for the Legion, and that's going to be it. So, with the bases that we have left, I'm probably not going to um, show all the attacks. Um, I'm going show one or two more, and then we'll, um, we'll go ahead and call it a, call it a day. But I definitely had to get this war recap out there. Um, I had to um, make sure that um, my haters know that that it's all good, man. Um, I learned a long time ago that haters going hate, and ain't ainters going ain't, man. And if you've got haters, that means you're doing something right because people aren't gonna. You know, hate on you and you know, come at you, you know, with just the spirit of jealousy. If um, you know you didn't have something that they wanted, you know, and whether that be, you know, financial, you know, monetary, um, whether that be, uh, you know, from a physical, actual belongings, you know, standpoint. But in any event, you know, I just have to to chuckle. Um, and shake my head because people like that, they will, um, are gonna wake up lonely uh, without friends, without a family, probably without kids. And um, it's gonna be a sad, sad life. So, that being said, um, definitely wanna give a shout out to the Legion. Um, first off, couple wars ago and I didn't get a chance to do something special for us but we hit level 13 guys that's right level 13 dab one time for him with a cider ranch um, so yeah level 13 guys awesome awesome job guys uh, way to keep just keep at it you know cuz our you know, we're on the grindstone and the little hamster wheel is turning away um, making that butter, turning that butter into cream, as they say. That silly hamster story. So, this will probably be the last attack I'll showcase, just because I know the video has ran quite a bit longer than I initially wanted to. 
but like I said, it's been a long time since I did a war recap, so um, might as well give, give some of these guys a chance to be in the spotlight. Um, so I will try to do maybe a back-to-back -back recap, we'll have to see, um, but I do want to um, put out some, um, some additional videos that I've been working on. Uh, some Town Hall 8 stuff, you know, had um, you know, a few subscribers really asking for, for more Town Hall 8 stuff as well as some Town Hall 7 stuff, so um, I know it's a, a smaller um, slash lesser known, um, but um, you know, it's still something that you know, people would use and would, be be would benefit from. So with that being said, um, as you can see, uh, this war was not a contest. Um, even if they had brought their A game and they were actually a good clan, um, I don't think it would have mattered too much because we are such a strong clan. Um, and I don't get to, to tell you guys this enough and really, you know, give you your, your, your comeuppance and, um, you know, pay, pay credit where it's due. Um, but it's definitely something that you can pat yourself on the back knowing that you know we are an elite clan and while we're not in the CWL or anything like that uh, we can absolutely you know hang probably with the majority of you know the best clans in the world so definitely appreciate you guys watching this war recap um, go ahead and stay tuned for the next one um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, make sure you hit that like button and comment. Uh, we are still running the July 2017 gift card contest. So if you want a chance to win, please make sure you don't forget about that. All right. So definitely, again, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. And Trizzle tuning out.